Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Friday, so I reckon I would be saying it's time for another Cooking Tips and Household Hints. But, guys, I've been running wide open. We've been having a heat wave here, and I've been getting no cool call after no cool call. And I'm sure a bunch of y'all throughout the United States here have been dealing with this heat wave. It's mighty, mighty hot out there. So, guys, remember to change them filters now, you hear? Guys, what I wanted to actually do tonight was actually show you... I've got some really near and dear friends on here, and I thank the world out of each and every one of y'all. And a couple of my great friends decided they was going to send me a couple of care packages here, guys. And I just wanted to share that with y'all tonight. And, uh, guys, I can't thank y'all enough for watching my videos. Like I said, each and every one of y'all are near and dear to me. And it's been such a pleasure to get to know you and have y'all come in and basically sit down and eat dinner with us every Sunday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday, guys. And uh, we're just having a blast doing this, and I'm hoping y'all are enjoying it. Okay, guys, let me get into our little care packages here. I can't wait to see what we got. All right, guys, thanks so much. All right, guys, we're ready to get started with our unboxing video here. Guys, it, uh, a few of my great friends on here uh, sent me, and it just made my day seeing this, and I just wanted to share it with y'all. Guys, we're going to start with this small package, and they actually say uh, great things come in small packages, and if it's from my buddy Steve, I know it will be, guys. What we're sharing with you here is I've got a great friend that I made out of California, and his name is Steve, and his channel name is Your Beekeeper. And back in the day, guys, he used, that's what he did. He was Your Beekeeper. He, he kept bees, and he produced honey. And... Uh, here recently, I think uh, he got out of it for a while, and here recently, I think in the last couple of years, he's been trying to establish a hive or two, and now they're actually starting to produce for him. Uh, guys, these, this is very hard to do. I mean, keeping those bees alive, is, I, I didn't really realize what all went into getting, uh, getting a jar of honey, guys, and there is a lot to it, and we're very thankful for people like you, Steve. Guys, I'm hoping you're going to go over and visit his channel um, briefly. Um, I met Steve probably seven years ago here on YouTube when, on my heating and air channel and uh, uh, before I even started a cooking channel, before I even met my other friends that actually advised me into starting a cooking channel, which I can't think enough. And uh, But guys, like I said, I met him over there and we became friends fast and, and we talk on the phone from time to time and uh, he's got a wonderful family. But I'm here to tell you guys, this guy is like, he's a true renaissance man. I don't know if y'all understand the, the term there, but to me, a Renaissance man is a guy that can actually take anything and make it work. Or he can uh, basically uh, mold stuff into something else, and like an invention type thing. This guy can do everything. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. And he does a great job at whatever he does. He's probably one of the best contractors in, in California. Heck, I, heck, I'd even venture to say United States, even the world, man. That's how highly I think of you, Steve. You know what you're doing, and you're proud of what you do, and you go the extra mile doing it. So, like I said, I'm running on here, and I don't want to sound goofy or anything, but it, I, I do thank the world of you, Steve, and it's a pleasure to have gotten to know you, and I'm hoping everybody will go over and check out your channel. Um, oh, that's another thing, too, guys. Like I said, he's out of California, and I think a lot of the, the, the schools out there, they actually have, like, uh, arts classes, you know, like uh, uh, acting and stuff like that. And his daughters uh, started doing plays, I think, when they were super young. Well, Steve will work out in the field 10, 12 hours a day, and then when he would get home, he would actually drive up to the school and actually build sets. He was like the head dude doing that. And, I mean, some of the stuff he did is just, you'll have to go over and check it out. Some of the stuff he did is just, it blows my mind. It is so awesome. But, uh, anyway, guys, let's, let's take a peek here. He sent me a little, little note here, and it says, Hey, Fritz, a long time coming, but here is some good old California honey. Enjoy. Hope you, Mom, and Sarge are well. Steve. Thank you, Steve. We're doing great, brother, and I hope, I hope you and your family are doing well as, as well, and I'm going to plan on talking to you on the phone here shortly. But uh, anyway, guys, take a peek at this. That there is pure ambrosia. That there is nectar of the gods. It truly is nectar of the gods. That is what ambrosia is. And I'm here to tell you that's some good old California honey that we cannot wait to get into. And Steve knows that my mom, that's one of my mom's favorite things is, uh, is honey. And uh, we just love it so much. And Steve, I'm actually going to be cooking with some of this. And I'm actually going to do a video on it. And I'm going to share it with you. But, uh, okay, guys. Uh, thank you so very much, Steve. I hope everybody comes over and, and takes a peek at your channel. I'm going to actually leave links to that. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to get into our other box here that is from our great friend Ray Mac, man. And that's uh, Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill right here on YouTube. And I had the pleasure of meeting Ray Mac. I guess it was probably 
maybe two or three years ago and we, we we became friends fast as well and i actually talked to him on the phone too and ray you didn't have to send this buddy and i appreciate it and what this is about guys is i actually helped him fix his air conditioner and uh, we determined what was wrong with it and we saved him a few bucks and we got that house cooling because like i just said guys it is hot out there but uh just bear with me one second i'm going to get into this package and we're going to get right back all right ray brother, what you. you got for me i got to get up in here it felt heavy. <laughs> oh my God, it's plumb full. All right, guys, let's uh, let's just reach in here and just start grabbing stuff. Oh my God, Ray, man, I seen you cooking with this. Uh, this is what they call Rufus Teague made some sauce. He put some in a jar and shared it with the boys. They kept on painting him till he fixed up another batch. Next thing he knew, he was making sauce all the time. It's damn good. This is apple mash, 100% natural, gluten-free. All right, Ray, I can't look at this. Good on beef, chicken, fish, and uh, pig, guys. Man, I can't wait to get into this, Ray. I promise you I will be cooking with this real soon, and I will be telling you about it. I'll be calling you and letting you know. All right, guys, let's see what, we, what else Ray got me here. Oh, my God, dude. I've been wanting to try this. A bunch of our friends on here, it's this Slaza. And I believe a young lady came out with this. I'm, don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure she did. And guys, I've heard nothing but great things about this, guys. All natural, gluten-free, the gourmet topping for everything, Slaza. Slaza is a fantastic condiment like no other. Our family recipe for years, Slaza is a cool and crisp with a kick that makes it incredible atop hot dogs, burgers, pork, fish, and even a dip. Plus, Slaza is cholesterol-free. If your fam family loves it as much as ours does, share it with friends and thank your grocer. Guys, Ray knows I love a good slaw dog. And uh, I think this is supposed to be like slaw on steroids or something. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get into this too, and I'll be sharing that with y'all in a future cook. I can't wait to try it. It looks really great, Ray. All right, guys, we got the Rufus Teague, the slaws. Let's get on up in here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What we got here? We got us some hot sauce, some Wuju hot sauce, all natural. All right, Ray, never seen anything that colored. The hot sauce I'm used to is always red. But, uh, oh, it's got agave nectar in it and mango. Oh, my God, I can't wait to get in that either. All right, guys, what else we got in here? Oh, another Wuju, Wuju hot sauce, extra hot. Uh-oh, Ray, <laughs> it's extra hot. I bet it is hot. This sauce is dedicated to my friend Cody Schuler, who faced a fierce battle with cancer but never let it compromise the way he lived his life. He is an inspiration and a constant reminder to appreciate life's beauty. That's wonderful. That's beautiful, man. And it looks like, I guess, Lawrence Wu. Maybe that's why it's called Wuju. Uh, looks like he produces it. This has got agave nectar, yellow mustard, uh, mustard seed, orange juice, constant. I bet this stuff is out of this world, Ray. I can't wait to get into this. Man, oh man, oh man. Sakes alive, sakes alive now. Oh my God, he done sent me another one. Look at here, man, I'm gonna be ready for hot sauce forever. Oh, this is a wing sauce. It's called Piri Piri Wing Sauce. Uh, gourmet Galore. Man, oh man, doesn't that look good? That looks good. Meaning, I guess, Piri Piri, meaning pepper, pepper in Swahili. Okay, cool. Our world famous Piri Piri sauce has a much great flavor as the amount of heat that it packs. Heat lovers boost the flavor of your chicken wings or hot spicy Piri Piri wing sauce. The mixture is a tasty blend of spices and herbs. The tasty sauce contains less sodium than the average wing sauce. The blend is also cholesterol free, so you'll not have to sacrifice your diet for a delicious meal. That is awesome, Ray. I can't wait to get in. Man, oh, you done hooked me up, brother. You done hooked me up. All right, guys, what else we got up in here? Just bear with me, y'all. Okay, guys. All right. Now, check this out, y'all. Ray knows I love my fried chicken. And one of the best ways that me and Ray actually bonded was over some fried chicken. I've been utilizing his recipe since I can remember guys and he makes some of the best fried chicken and he always puts a little bit of parsley in there with the egg and, and that guys I actually started doing that and it is out of sight but look at this guys I think this is actually ground somewhere close to him this is called moss hot and spicy Britter mix 
delicious on all meats and veggies, and I bet it is. Buffalo Milling Company Incorporated, Kittrell, North Carolina. All right, guys, so I guess they, they mill it there. This is pretty, this is awesome, Ray. You know I love, I love my battering and stuff, man. Um, and we got something for pan or deep frying. It actually gives me like a, a, a directions to it. And oh, look at here, fried dill pickle chips. We're gonna have to give that a go too, guys. But Ray, I've already got it planned out, man. Um, I, I, I'm actually gonna use that new, you know, when we were talking the other day, um, that new recipe that you came out with, and I'm actually gonna utilize that, guys. And that's gonna be with some really fresh herbs and spices. It's gonna be delicious, and we're gonna do it out back on the camp shift. We're gonna have a time now. I'm here to tell you, man. Ray, thank you so very much, brother. Now check this out, guys. There's a wonderful lady that uh, I just recently became friends with, and Ray's been friends with her for quite some time, man. She just does some really great soul food cooking, and her name is Carlise. And, guys, she makes some spices, guys, and she's actually got a website. I I'll post all this stuff in, in links on my channel here. But this says, let's see, Carlise Spices Incorporated, Kiki's Famous Seafood Mix, the best in town. So I guess these are like seasonings to put on your on your fish before you, you, know, you go to batter it or fry it. Um, man, thank you so much, Carly. And, uh, or Carlise, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and, uh, Carlise, it looks like she sent me actually a poultry rub as well. Man, I can smell this stuff, guys. It smells freaking awesome. And, uh, guys, you're gonna have to go ahead and check her out. It looks like it's, uh, www.carlisespices.com. And, like I said, I will have links. So, we've got, uh, uh, a seafood blend and a poultry blend. And what else did she send me here? Oh, check it out, guys. She's got her own rub. Man, we will be putting this to use, I promise you. You know how much I barbecue. And it says, uh, simply the best, simple, simple the bet, simple the best, better than all the rest, barbecue rub sample. And guys, oh my God, y'all are going to have to go check her out. Uh, guys, take a peek here, man. I, I done scored big time. I got, uh, I got me some Britter mix, some hot and spicy. I'm going to be doing some wings out there on the, on the camp chef that me and Ray was talking about. I got me some Rufus Teague here, man. This is supposed to be some killer barbecue sauce. I got some of this salsa. I'm going to do that on my next slaw dogs. I can't wait to get into that and share it with you. I got several hot spices here, Wuju hot, so hot spices and some Piri Piri. Along with that, our great friend, my great buddy, Steve Beekeeper out of California, sent us some, some California honey, guys. And I'm going to... I'm gonna actually be using this with the, with the chicken wings, I think. And, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that later, and I'm actually gonna probably try her poultry season on the wings as well. But uh, anyway, guys, please go check out my friends. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave links at, 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 at the, in the description box. And uh, guys, I can't thank you enough. And thank you so very much for sending me these gifts. And, and it just means the world to me. And uh, guys, like I said, it's been a pleasure to get to know each and every one of y'all. And I think of each and every one of y'all as my family. Thanks so very much. And we're going to holler at y'all soon. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much, Ray, Mary Mack. And thank you so much, Carlise. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.